We're going to go Doran's Rush, okay? And um, that's going to give us a life steal. And uh, we're probably going to go... Because we have Bloodline. It got nerfed a little bit, but it's still like it's still going to give us the life steal we need. That plus Doran's will give us enough to just get by. And then maybe we can start... We can probably go... Um, uh, we can either go Blade of the Rune King Rush or Gale Force. I think one of those two are probably good options. What do you usually like to play? Because I also want to keep you on comfort. So when you're playing Fiora, what kind of like builds do you like playing? Um, so with Fiora, um, I don't play her against her a whole lot. And so I forget, I honestly forget what runes I take against her. Yeah. Um, what about the build though, like for items? For items, I normally try and I feel like the Berserker Greaves rush hasn't been as good recently, but I normally Berserker Greaves rush against her, and that's totally 100% based on the matchup guide. Um, and then uh, I'll do, yeah, I typically do Gale Force against her. Um, yeah, I think that's the play. I, I think Gale Force, uh, Gale Force Storm Razor or Gale Force uh, Blade of the Rune King. I think those are good yeah. options. Yeah. So typically when I'm playing against somebody who's got like a lot of dashes or has like, you know, is, is a movement speed based, um, I'll try and do either a Zerka Grieve Rush and then Gale Force and then Storm Razor. It's something I typically do a lot. Um, I've, I've just been iffy with Bork recently just because oh, of how okay. expensive it is. Oh, don't worry about it. And you know what? I want you to stay on comfort. I want you to do exactly what you just said there, because that's also a good page too. I want you to do the exact comfort, okay? Because that's how it is. Because like, there's a lot of uh, things that you're gonna notice, like play styles and everything that Quinn plays especially play. You find the one that works for you and keep with it. Stay on comfort, right? If that works for you, if you like the Berserker Boots Rush, you like the Gale Force, you don't really like Bork, you don't have to go Bork. You can stick with your comfort and go along with that. So that's awesome. All right, so we can walk up for Quinn Cheese. Walk up. We can walk up in the bush. Okay. Yeah, we can start. We just uh, we might not be able to make it. Fully. Wait for her. Yeah, we're, we're not gonna be able to wait it. It's okay. Maybe we can make it. Oh, she didn't see us. Okay, same this one. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. We'll wait in there. We'll wait. She knows we're here, but it's okay. She has to walk up anyway. Uh, I think I think yeah. she's leashing. Yeah, it's okay. Just wait for her to Jets. come. Wait for the passive to mark her, and then you're gonna go auto e auto. Um, don't use your e too early though. Wait for her to q and then you can just auto her as many times as possible. Then use e when she gets close to you. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you can auto her, auto her, just auto, just auto. Yeah, yeah. Walk back, walk back. Yeah. Get PTA. Okay, careful, because her Q's gonna come up. If she hits a minion, her Q gets refunded by half. So just know that. Every time she hits okay. a minion or champion, her Q comes back quicker. So if she Q's and it doesn't hit anything, her next Q takes forever to come back. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna get level two soon. Walk up, walk up, walk up, walk up. Keep going, keep going. Auto, auto, E. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, yeah perfect. Uh, the minion, you're level two. The minion. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Now we're gonna walk up. You're level two, so you wanna be aggressive. All right, level two, you gotta be really careful how you use your E though, okay? Be extremely careful how you use your E because she can use her W and that's gonna stun you. So that's the thing we have to be mindful about. Nice, good Q, good stuff. You got her bone plating. Nice, use your Q, okay? So now her Q is gonna take forever. You can walk up and you can uh, E her if she walks up. Uh, she's gonna get two soon. Oh, she's two now, okay. Now you gotta be careful. Yeah, now we be careful. All right, hard crash this wave. That's level third wave, perfect. You can start crashing it. Yeah. Go for the cannon, make sure to get the cannon though. Ah, uh, uh, walk up, walk up. All right, so just recall here, recall. Yeah, yeah. I'm enough for boots, yeah, we'll which is what boots. I want. It's okay, it's okay. We'll get boots. All right, so, um, what's gonna happen? Okay, is now since she's W, okay, so now she has her W. There's two ways to play it. Just be careful how you use your E. You could still E mm -hmm. aggressively, but do it when she doesn't expect it, okay? Even when I play against Challenger Fiora players, if you E when they don't expect it, they can't retaliate in time. So what you're gonna do is if you ever wanna use E on Fiora, you're gonna E her, then run away. Don't auto the Harrier, like walk sideways, okay? Because if you E okay. her, she'll W right away, but she'll never have the reaction. It's impossible to react to that. So if you E, then walk sideways, She'll never get the W stun on you. But if you E and go for the Harrier proc, you'll get stunned every time. Okay, so just be mindful. If you E her, okay. walk sideways. Don't auto the Harrier. Okay, like sideways. Anywhere you want. Just don't walk in a line. Because her W is going to be in a straight line. And then you're okay. So perfect. So now the wave's slow pushing towards you. So just be a little careful about that. If she runs at you and cues you and trying to chase you down, try to throw your Q auto on her. Okay, don't use your E when she jumps on you because that's what she wants you to do. Okay. If she engages, right, just throw Q at her. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just Q her and throw Harrier. You'll be faster. As long as you have a Harrier mark, you'll outrun her. Perfect. She Q in the minion, so now it's going to keep coming back quicker. So level up your W. Perfect. Nice. Uh, so thin out the wave a little bit. Yeah, she's going to just looking for something. Yeah, just Q. Yeah, just don't use your E. Perfect. You're good. Thin out the wave a little bit. You're doing a great job. Yep. 
cute. Auto, auto. Yeah, yeah. Don't eat. Don't eat. There we go. She, her W is down now. Her W is a long cooldown. So there we go. Now you can just play aggressive. Yeah. Oh, if you're. Yeah, walk up, walk up, walk up. Okay, we're not going to get it. Okay, walk in the bush. Walk in the bush. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. If we walk in the bush, it'll drop minion aggro. Perfect. We get this cannon, mate. Focus on this cannon. Focus on it. Perfect. And then go for the last. Let's thin out the wave a little bit. So it's too big. So try killing a few minions. Oh, go in, go in, go in. Yeah, yeah. Go in, go in. Uh, it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Keep you got the wave frozen. I uh, thin out the wave a little bit, so kill a few minions. Kill like three minions. Yeah, just kill three. It's too fat right now. Yeah, you want to make four minions for a freeze, so kill more. Walk up. Walk up to the bush so you keep the freeze. Oh. Yeah, why does he keep? Uh, walk in the bush. Walk in the bush. Walk in the bush. Pop your pot. Pop your pot. You just kept the wave frozen, so that's good. All right, thin out the wave a little bit. It's still too big. You want to kill like three minions here. It's too big of a wave. All right, go for it. Go for it. I don't QQ. Oh. He should die. Ah, uh, come on. No way. No way. Nice try. Keep the wave frozen. So just four minions extra as a freeze, okay? So you want to make sure that he has four minions and that's it. So this is more than four. So kill as many as you can until it's four, okay? Keep killing them until there's four left. That's how you keep a freeze. Tank the minions. So walk towards the minion. Wait, perfect, perfect. We got the freeze. Kill a few more. So it's a little bit too many. Perfect. Just kill like those melee minions and then you're good. Keep the melee minions. There we go. Now you got the wave frozen. Kill like... Another minion. It's still a little too wave, wave big. The wave perfect. You're doing a great job. Good wave management here. Good job. Perfect. Now just last it. Perfect. Press tab. Let's see here. Is CS. Nice. Red and four CS. Yeah, we got the wave frozen. Okay, kill a few minions. Too many minions. Walk up, walk up, walk up. Yeah, perfect. Walk up to the bush. 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 Yeah, perfect. Wave still frozen. Perfect. Kill one minion. Yeah, kill the range minion. And focus on the cannon. Make sure we get this last hit. You can yeah. Q, 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 Q it. Ooh. Nice. Just because we want to thin out the wave a little bit. That's why I wanted you to queue. Because we have to make sure this wave doesn't crash the tower. That's our goal. To keep it frozen. So these melee minions dying is okay. Remember, four minions is a freeze. There's five range minions there. You still have the freeze. Perfect. Good job. You got the free freeze still? Perfect. You still got the freeze. Look at this. Hey, dude. Perfect wave management. You got the freeze again. Look at this. Auto her once to get the bone plating or queue her. It's okay. You get the queue. Get the bone plating. Perfect. We want to get a recall soon. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's okay. perfect. I mean, as long as you got the th the, the bone plating. Okay, we want to get a recall off though, because we have uh we're pretty low. So maybe just try shoving the wave. Next cannon wave, you're gonna recall, okay? Every time okay. you want to get a back, the best way to back on is a cannon wave, and we'll explain why later. Just uh when the next cannon wave comes, we're gonna shove it and we're gonna try to recall. It doesn't matter, she's not gonna freeze. This is a cannon wave, so kill these minions, then recall. Walk back after this, walk back, walk back, walk back, and recall. Perfect. Recall, recall. The reason is because you're, you have to find a way to get a recall. You're not going to get it otherwise. Cannon wave is the best wave because you're going to lose the least amount of minions, okay? So get your boots, yeah. get longsword, and get uh, pots. Just a pot, yeah. Uh, get, yeah, you just get a red pot. Okay, so look at Fiora's wave. Click it. Like, click the wave, yeah, yeah. Like, look at the map. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Perfect. Look, you're going to lose one melee minion on this. The cannon minion is going to take, take her forever to push it because the cannon wave, look, you're going to lose not even the cannon. You see, it's the best okay. way to back on. You lose nothing on it, right? It's perfect. Okay. You lose one, one melee minion. Now press alt. Nice. Keep autoing, keep autoing, keep autoing, keep autoing, keep autoing. Nice. Okay, she queued away. Perfect. Nice. Good job. But you see, look, we lost literally one minion. See? We had to get that back off. Look, we lost one minion. If you back on any other wave, you're going to lose the whole wave. You back on cannon wave, you lose one melee minion. It's perfect, right? It's what you want. All right, yeah, so no, I definitely have not tried to uh, to back like that. That's something I feel like I didn't realize I was struggling with is like forcing it back on a cannon yeah. wave. It's amazing. It's amazing because look, you have you're gonna lose something regardless. This is you only lose one minion. It's better than losing a whole wave, right? Now you still have a fat CS lead, and you have to get that recall off. All right, so now you got the oh, slow push. Yeah. Hey, it's okay. You don't have to be scared of her. You got a big minion wave, so don't. Fa if you have a big minion wave, she can't fight you in it because it's like if she fights, all these minions are gonna kill her, right? This is a wave she can't fight you on, even if she's trying. You want to be aggressive on on slow pushes. Press W, see if she's backing, and hard shove the wave. Yes, hard shove, hard shove. She's backing. Nice. Uh, so crash the next wave. There's one more wave. Perfect. Yeah, just be mindful of her. If she jumps at you, remember. If she jumps at you, you want to queue a uh, Harrier Procker, okay? Just get the Harrier Proc, okay. you'll live. Don't eat. Just try to get a Harrier Proc on her with the, your Q or your passive. If you E her, she just to be careful. You still can just be really careful about Eing her. Auto, yeah, you get the auto. Yeah, perfect. Keep autoing, keep autoing, keep autoing, get PTA. MP, oh, cannon, 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 cannon. Oh, nice. Oh, careful about eating the cannon. Uh, careful. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, nothing. I knew because I had the wave there that she probably recall, wouldn't bother recall, recall. me. Yeah, the wee reason we're recalling here just a free longsword. Why not? Longsword pink word. We're, it's a cannon wave. It's the best wave to back on. If you crash a cannon wave too, best wave to back on because it could take forever to come back. Perfect. Now fly to lane. And we got to drop our ward. So what you're going to do is when you're pathing back to lane, path through the river. Okay? Path through the river. Every time and then when you're coming back I drop to lane. Yep. Yeah, 
Pink Should I drop the tri- ward in the yeah. tri brush or the um yeah. pink ward and tri brush, yellow ward in the other bush, okay? Pink ward and tri bush though. Towards the bottom of the bush. Perfect right so here. So pink, pink ward. ward here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. And then uh oh, that was, oh, oh, it's okay. Man, it's okay. It's okay. Regular ward in that one. It's okay. Regular ward in that one. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, so now just uh, now we got the wards. Now just be aggressive. Be aggressive. Don't use your E, but you can just auto her, okay? Don't use E, but she can't do anything. If you just keep autoing her, she can't play the game. You have tier two boots. She can't play. She's gonna W soon. Q Q Q auto. Ignite, 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 ignite. Don't E, don't E. Ignite, ignite. Just keep autoing her. She loses. Yeah, yeah. Perfect E. Perfect. You see how you win the matchup? You just never E. She can't win. She can't win. She has okay. to W first. She, eventually, she's gonna have to W. If she's gonna die, she has to throw it randomly, right? Just wait for it. If you're full HP and you got an HP advantage on her, the only way you ever lose that is by Eing. If you feel like you just you're ahead in HP and you'll beat her with auto attacks, just keep autoing. Don't eat. She can't ever stun you if you don't throw it, right? Then there you go. You just won that. So perfect. You can go for the the tower plating. I uh, get the cannon focus. Nice. And get one tower plating because uh, it's just free here. We got wards. Look at our vision control. This is perfect for us, right? Since we got good vision control, um, we don't have to worry as much. Yeah, walk back and we're gonna recall. Perfect. Recall. Nice, really good stuff. So, so this is awesome. Yeah, we're gonna get pickaxe here. This is a good, this is a good, I'm assuming the question is. Okay, that's what I was about thing. to ask is I typically take pickaxe here. Yeah. Uh, like I try to go yeah. for my uh, knee quiver first, but in a case like this, I would go pickaxe. Yeah, the reason we're going pickaxe is because you want to get the most gold efficient back possible. Plus, when we recall, it's only 600 gold to get Noon Quiver, so it's easier. If we get the Noon Quiver, we're just sure. sitting on a lot of gold that's just pointless. Gold doesn't mean anything if we don't spend it. So we got a kill advantage, like 600 gold is 875. That's a kill and a, a kill and a little bit of gold that we're not using, okay? So that's why you want to make the most use of your gold if possible. So again, get her bone plating. So just auto attack her once um, if you can, or throw Q at her if you can. But don't don't, it's not the primary focus, but if she walks up, that's what we're looking for. So just like throwing a Q, like splash damage, hitting her or auto. If you can't get it, it's okay. Perfect. We got it. Perfect. You see, bone plating is useless into range matchups, as you're seeing. But mm -hmm. <laughs> but into melee matchups, it's good. But, but range matchups, it's very bad. It's just he's not playing it with the rune. All right. Uh, so, yeah, just let the wave push towards you. We're just going to go for a little freeze. Perfect. Just keep your spacing. This matchup's all spacing based. And you're doing incredible spacing right now. Perfect. Good stuff. I think Jax might be heading yeah, in this yeah, direction. That's why we're going to just not push the wave. If we keep the wave, we drop a ward in the river. Drop your board. Drop a ward in that bush. Just regular ward. Yeah, because we... we yeah, just perfect. Just let her crash. Since we know Jax is top side, we're not going to play aggressive. Just let the wave push and we're going to freeze it under a tower. Okay. Yeah. The wave is going to be pushing towards you. Should be. Yeah, it's the wave is pushing towards you. You don't have to be too scared though, because um, you can walk up for the last hits. Only because we have vision control. We have good wards. So if we see him, we'll, if he comes, we'll see him. He is for sure top side though. Uh, you can just crash the wave, crash the wave because we're pushing. So just crash it. I yeah, just crash it. Make sure it goes to the tower. Just auto her. Just keep autoing. Don't eat. Don't eat. Oh, nice. Just keep autoing. Nice. Just keep autoing. Keep autoing. You got the minions. Look at that. See what happens when you fight in a wave. The minion. Oh, walk. Oh, run, 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 yeah, yeah, So yeah, blind Jax. Jax coming. Blind him. Blind him if he comes. Blind him. Oh, I missed. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Don't eat. Don't eat yet. Eat when he stuns you. Now eat. Now eat. Now eat. Auto and run. Perfect. Perfect. Great. You got it. Just run. Just run. Run. Run, run and recall. Run and recall. Oh, we got the pot popped. Ooh, okay. Look at the wave. Uh, yeah, I didn't. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, yeah, we're good. We're good still. Yeah, perfect. Get the new quiver now. Perfect. Good stuff. Oh, 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 no. oh it's okay. No. Uh, I thought you were saying we're good like we stay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, my bad, my bad. It's cannon wave too. It's still okay. Look at that. We're still okay. She's slow pushing. So we're going to get a uh, perfect. Get that and get pink word. Just to keep the pink word on deck. And go to go to lane. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, so it's okay too. Anyways, look, it's still cannon wave. So we're still chilling. Press tab. Always update yourself. When we're in base, just update yourself. Okay, so she has 87 CS. We're level on her. Um, your flux is fed. Just look around the map. Just give you an update on like how it's going, right? Vayne's kind of strong. Okay. Jack's kind of strong. Just like kind of see that. Okay, you can auto her. Yeah. All right, so we're going to be a little aggressive here. Be aggressive. Be aggressive. Oh, keep autoing her. Keep autoing her. Keep autoing. You can eat. Ooh, ooh. Ignite, ignite, ignite. Ooh, that'd be ignite, ignite. Ignite. Oh. I think I think nice she try. dies to the ignite, right? Nah, nah, she doesn't die. We need one more auto. Nice try. Nice try. Uh, nice, nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Uh, so now just hard crash the wave. Keep keep going. Yeah, perfect. Hard shove. Hard shove. Hard shove. Yeah, perfect. We're gonna get one more plate. Yeah, I think that the Dorns I'm really liking. I, I think this page mm. is gonna be running a little bit more with the Gathering Storm absolute focus. Um, because you don't like you don't even have your Gathering Storm. Just one proc. Twenty minute marks coming. You're just gonna get stronger and stronger. Like, you know, being ahead in lane with Gathering Storm is the best thing ever because you're just going to get stronger. Uh, plates are gone. Yeah, it's okay. I didn't even realize they were 14. It's okay, but the best thing is we can get the tower quicker now. That's the one thing about plates expiring. The tower is easier to kill. 
We're not gonna get it this way. Q her again. Q her. You don't have to be scared. Just keep auto Keep auto -wing. Keep auto -wing. Good. Keep spacing. One more auto. Run, run, run. Ooh. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. Ooh. Uh, ear, ear. Auto, auto, auto. Harry, Harry. Ooh. Oh, uh, nice try, nice try, uh, bro. Nice try, nice try, nice try, nice try on that really close one. Really, it wasn't good either. It wasn't good either. Um, you were very close at it. Good job. Oh, you got the kill. Oh, you got assist. Got there you go. One for one. You, got, you get cloaked now. You get cloaked. Perfect. Level up your ult too. Perfect. You get cloaked. Yeah, the whole thing was a one for one. Look at that. And you got a lot of tower damage too. Uh, the wave is too bad. It crashed though. It's unlucky, but nice try on that. Um, so we're gonna get our gale force soon. Uh, she did she flash there? I couldn't remember. I don't think she did. I don't think she flashed. Oh, perfect. Just go top. Perfect. All good. Um, so now what we're going to do is try to develop a slow push here. The purpose of a slow push is you want to build up a really big minion wave. So we're just going to go last mm -hmm. hits. That's how you slow push. Just last hit the minions. Don't like keep crashing them. This way we get a really big wave that crashes the tower and we get a better chance of like hitting the like getting the tower, right? So if we build up a slow push, it builds up a lot of minions. Remember last time when Fiora tried fighting you in the big minion wave? She had to run away. She can't fight you in big minion waves. So this creates a really big minion wave. So drop a pink ward in that other bush. I'll uh, hit the Harrier first. Hit the Harrier. Now drop a pink ward in this bush. Perfect. Now just slow push. Yeah, perfect. Just last it. Nice. There we go. We're going to have a really, really big minion wave. Get the cannon. Okay, Ottawa, don't be afraid. You have to be aggressive on slow pushes. So if you have a big wave like this, be aggressive. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Yeah, just keep autoing. Don't use your E, but just keep autoing. Remember, it's a fat wave. She can't do anything against this. Keep your spacing, though. That's the only way she kills you. So as long as you space with Harriers and Tier 2 boots, you're always faster than her. Yep. Crash this wave. Try to crash it. We get Gale Force. So crash the wave and buy Gale Force. Oh, wow. Oh, careful, careful now. Careful, careful. Ooh. Oh, you might have to throw the E first. Ooh, you might have to throw the E. You might have to throw the E. Nice. Run, run, run. Uh, ooh, ooh. Q, 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 auto, Q, auto. Auto. Ah, so close. Ah, ah, nice try. Nice try. Nice try on that. That was really close. Then Nivia came top too. I don't know why she's wasting time constantly roaming top. That's okay. He pinged after. It's okay. We got our Gale Force now. We got the spike that we wanted. Jax is okay. I think Swain, Swain oh, gets the tower, tower for yeah, that. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. It's nice. worth it. We got our Gale Force now. This is where the everything gets a lot better. Perfect. Um. And then Storm Razor. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it's decent. Storm Razor is gonna slow her too and make it a lot better. So let's fly over. Oh, if she stays, we're killing her. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna fly in. Okay, just fly in through lane. Okay, uh, auto ignite her and then just chase her. Okay, and you're gonna gale force the chaser. Auto ignite her though. Leave leave alt with auto. Okay, auto ignite and just keep running her down. Auto ignite. Auto ignite. Oh, okay, gale force and gale force. Gale force. Gale force. Gale force. Nice, nice, bro. Nice. That's how you do it. He had no mana. He couldn't W. Nice. We get the we get the kill. The one thing I like about playing with Quinn is if you die, a lot of players, especially in these elos, are gonna greed push, and you get a lot of kills right after. You're gonna notice that mm -hmm. a lot. You see that? That's the one thing I really yeah. like about Quinn. They're always gonna greed and just kill him, right? Because they don't know how. Fast well, and I feel are. like people who aren't used to playing against. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I feel like people who aren't used to playing against Quinn don't realize how fast she can get back into lane. Especially because they made a change last season where, um, if you die, you come back quicker. You have home guards. Why is it new oh, here? Okay, oh, careful, shit. Careful. Auto, auto, e, auto, e, 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 e. e. Oh, uh, nice try. Okay, so this is good. I'm glad that happened. I didn't think so, the E was in my range. I'm really glad you that this happened though, because with Anivia, okay, how she works if she presses Alt and you CC her during Alt, her Alt gets canceled. So the first line is the second oh. that she Alt you. You want to E her, because if you E her, it cancels her Alt. Because if you E okay. right away, what would have happened is her Alt would have been canceled and then her damage is gone because she has no Q, no E, no wall. And then her Alt's gone and then you just blind her and auto her. Does that kind of make sense? So if you see a Nivea, yeah. the first line is whenever you can just E her just to cancel her Alt. So um, okay. even if you're going to take a tower shot for it, for example, if you're close enough, it's still worth it because... Um, well, if she was out of tower range, so you would have been okay. Maybe one tower shot, but it's worth it because it's her Alt does more damage. Uh, so buy your yeah, Storm Razor and uh, let's look for top. So we have Gale Force Bunch up. Really soon. Got shut down. Yeah, we have Gale Force up, so yep. we're still okay. Fiora's got her Ninja Tabbies and Gore Drinker. I think that she was in. I didn't pay attention, but I think she's bot side. So let's. Yeah, I saw. I saw her down bot. All right, let's hard shove the wave. Nice, we got the cannon. Perfect. All right, uh, she's TP. TPing. That's okay. Oh, she's low. Should be aggressive. I, uh, be aggressive. Be aggr what, ward, ward the other bush. Okay, it's okay. Uh, yeah, auto her. Auto her. Try to get the bone plating. Hit the Harrier. If you hit the Harrier first, you got the speed. Okay, Q her. Yeah. Uh, you, have, you have Gale Force. You have Gale Force. You have Flash up soon. Okay, now ward the other bush when you get these. Yeah, just ward the other bush now. The tri bush. After you get the minion, get the tri bush. 
Q her. Nice. You got the Q. Perfect. Bone plating. That's all we wanted. That's all we wanted. Now we got Flash and Gale Force. So this is where we want to be a little bit more aggressive. Okay. She's kind of low. We got Gale Force and Flash. We got two get out of jail free cards. Okay. So just keep on here. Keep on Run, run, run. Nice. Life still on the wave. Yep. Just keep your spacing. Yeah, have Anivia's top. Yeah. yeah, I see. Just sit back. Just sit back. Anivia's top. Just wait for him. Just wait. Wait for a swing. She's waiting in that bush. Anivia and her are waiting in that bush. Yep. Just wait. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Ping on the way. So Swain knows. Ping on the way. Just ping on the way. Yeah, just let him know. Just let Swain know. I'm going your alt. Press alt. Press alt. Press alt. Stay out of vision. Press alt. Ooh, oh, press, uh, oh, 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 careful. Careful now. Oh, careful. Careful. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, it's okay. It's yeah, okay. It's yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so what happens if you're pressing alt on Quinn 2? You can cancel if you press alt again. So if you ever notice if you're pressing okay. alt and they're coming at you, just press it again and you're going to cancel it instantly. So if it's going to happen a lot where you're trying to alt and they kind of like, oh, they see it and they're going to come at you. What you want to do in this play right there is you want to like walk out of vision, press alt, mm -hmm. and then go in with the play because you have bird form. If you alt in vision, they'll see you. You want to alt out of vision so you come in alt form. Does that kind of make sense? So what I was trying to like right. go for is like you walk back, okay? You press alt. Then you join the fight in alt. They don't see you pressing alt, and then you just run them down. Because otherwise, they'll see you press alt and be like, okay, we're getting ganked, or she's trying to kill us. But you kind of want to go unexpected. So probably go uh, mid or bot here. Yeah, they killed them bots, so just go mid. Your teammates got the double kill after, so it's still really good. Um, so what's going to happen is we're just going to play for mid lane. Perfect. Your CSing is really good this game, by the way. I think we got every cannon except for one, so it's pretty decent. Your teammates got top. Just farm mid lane. Perfect. We got our second gathering storm proc now. Perfect. All right, we can push another wave. We have all summoners up. We have flash up. We have gale force up. Your teammates are pushing both side lanes, so they're likely not going to be mid right here. They have to deal with the side laners. Now we just crash this wave, and then we maybe try to help our team out if they need it. I don't think they need a help though. Yeah, Shiko just killed Jack Stop. So perfect. Okay, so let's crash this. Nice. Uh, press W if you want to go for this tower. Press W. If you don't see anyone, get a few autos. There we go. And we got like two seconds of getting... There we go. Now we see a Nivea. See, now we get to push. She's coming topside though. You can probably just like fly over. Fly around. Yeah, perfect. Let's see. With Swain. Ping on the way. Maybe with Swain. Does Swain want it? Uh, oh, oh, okay. Get ready. Help him. Help him. Uh, auto ignite. Auto ignite. Auto ignite. You can E. Uh. Oh, okay. Careful. 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 Run. Run to Lux. Run to Lux. Run to Lux. Yeah. Blind, blind. Oh, okay. If you blind her, it's huge. Oh, they don't know. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, you guys got to press alt. Press alt out of vision. And then get ready to rejoin when you're ease up. You can go on Fiora. You guys are winning the fight. You guys win the fight. You guys are really strong. She got W. All right, careful now. Perfect. Good job. Uh, maybe press alt and fly bot here. So this is like the thing right here. Okay, if you notice the fight's won, um, go on the opposite side. Because when team fight happens, they're all top mid right now, right? The bot lane's free. Mm. They all came to that fight. So just use your Quinn alt advantage to get free CS. Jax is there, though. Drop a ward in that bush. Drop a ward. Word it, word it, word it. Now word that bush. And now push the wave. Just don't use your abilities just because Jax is near. We just want to get this wave and just be a little careful. This is how we just find opportunities to get free waves. Maybe crash this wave and then recall and go top. Perfect. Okay. Recall and go top. The reason why dragon's I'm going to recall and go top is because, yeah, dragon's coming oh, up. It's not up it. yet. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to have time to get that wave. So what we're going to do is um, uh, just fly top. Don't buy anything. Just fly top. Okay, so this is the reason. We're going to catch this wave. We're going to have gold for BF Sword. Come to Dragon with BF Sword. I don't want you to buy... You can't really buy anything else. And with this, we'll be okay. Save your W, okay? So just fly in. Save W. Just auto her. Auto her. Auto keep autoing. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. Keep autoing. You got Gale Force. QQ. QQ. Now you can eat. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Nice, bro. Nice. Now of the wave. Nice. That's exactly how you should be playing it. You played that perfectly. Make sure we get this cannon and then crash it back and kind of go to dragon. Now recall, 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 recall. Perfect. Since we didn't buy anything, look, now we got our BF sword. Now we come to the thing. We got Storm Razor, actually. Look at that. Come to the dragon with Storm Razor now. Perfect. I'll just fly over. Uh, keep your eye. Now when you're roaming, watch the fight. This is important. Watch the fight. You can see what abilities they use. You can see how low they are. Well, just watch the fight while you're roaming. Watch the fight. Perfect. So now identify the target you kind of want to go for. If you can't find a target, then don't go for it. But now it's just like kind of luck like looking. It uh, looks like Soraka and Vayne are probably the easiest targets. Wait for team though. Okay, go, go, oh. go, 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 go. Yep, blind Vayne. Auto blind Vayne. Auto blind Vayne. Blind, blind, blind. Now she dies. Now she dies. Now we go. Perfect. Go for Jax. You can E Jax. You got your team. So you can use aggressive ease when you got your team near you. Nice. Nice, bro. Blind, blind him. 
I missed. All right. Yeah, just wait for abilities. Wait for abilities. Press. Oh. Nice. Uh, press alt. If you're not doing anything, press alt. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. If we can't get them, just it's okay. Just, yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Nice. Uh, I think they're FFing. Uh, no, it's just an Ivia tilted. They probably won't FF. It's just oh. one person. <laughs> it depends. Sometimes you're going to see that, but it's just usually one person. Press alt. Now catch a wave. Either. Mm, yeah, maybe catch mid wave, then go bot. All right, crash that. Uh, press alt. Uh, okay, Swain. Okay, he's giving up the wave. Okay. Usually it would be Swain getting this wave, but he's kind of giving it, so it's okay. Just hard crash this wave and then press alt. I will go bot. Go bot. The reason is because we're close to our BF sword. Um, drop a ward in that bush on the top. The top bush. Top bush. Top bush. Yeah, perfect ward right there. Perfect. All right. So you be vain. If you auto blind vein, she dies. Auto storm razor slow. She can't dodge it. Wait out of vision. Wait in this bush. Wait in this bush. Ooh, ooh. Just wait in this bush. Wait the other one. The down down. Okay, I think she, that's okay. So you always want to be out of vision. See if she pushes and then go for a free kill. She's not going for it. Okay, just just keep pushing. Yeah, perfect. Because we want to stay out of vision. See if she pushes. If not, just get it. Because only because we don't want to be too aggressive here. Because we have a lot of gold. Our goal is just to get BF sword and back. Right, that's just our goal. We're trying to like just stay extra. Not recall. Recall. Perfect. Right. So we're gonna wait in that bush. If Vayne walks up, we're gonna get a free kill. If not, we're not gonna take the risk. Just get the BF sword. Because our goal right there is just get BF sword. So we're gonna see if we can get a pick. Now fly top lane. Perfect. Good stuff. Level up your E. Press tab. Always press tab here. We're gonna update ourselves on the game. Okay, so we're really we're worth bounty now. We're a level on Fiora. We're two levels on Jax. We're three levels on Vayne, so we can be extra aggressive against Vayne. Alright, wait for her. Yeah, you're really strong into Fiora. You have everything up too, so we wanna be um playing to our advantage. Press alt. So what you could do into Fiora, okay? If she jumps on you. Okay, I'll get the Grump. Get the Grump. Get the Grump. Yeah, perfect. So if Fiora jumps on you, if you feel like you're going to die, get the Harrier auto on her. Then you can Gale Force out and just keep the Gale Force distance because Gale Force will push you out of range and then she has to keep chasing you and she's probably going to W to like scare. So you said if she jumps on me to Harrier, auto the Harrier. Oh, she has a yeah, fucking ward yeah, right yeah. here. Like Q auto her if you can. And then um, Gale Force out. Or just Gale Force out if you feel like you're going to die. If she ults and she have, you have the rings around you, just Gale Force instantly, okay? If she ults. What you can do if she jump on you, you could just the first line of defense if you're in panic mode, just Gale Force. Don't worry about the Harrier, okay? Auto her once okay. for Storm Razor, because you have Storm Razor. Um, and then play it. But if you use Gale Force to push you out of range, it's really good. If she jumps on you and she ults, if you feel like she's all inning, just Gale Force and just keep your range. You could throw some E's aggressively on her. Just do it when she doesn't expect it, right? Like, you can E her aggressively before she W's. She'll miss it, but just do it when she's, like... Like, do it, like, when she's not expecting it. Because there's a risk that she W's, but as long as you sidestep right away, she'll likely not hit you. Perfect. Crash the wave. Perfect. Good stuff. Oh, press alt. Press alt. Press alt. Because he's fighting, right? Just press alt and join. Yep. Perfect. Just join. Keep your eye on him. Keep your eye on him. Perfect. And if you got E here, auto E. Oh, uh, oh it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The, the wall. wall, wall. Right it's okay. It's okay. Press alt. Okay. It's okay. Nice try. Ward that bush. Ward that bush on the... Yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, join your team. Perfect. Auto. You have Gale Force too. Wait. Just keep going. Ignite. Ignite. Ooh. Wait, go in. Go in. Gale Force into Fiora. Go for into Fiora. Go for Fiora. Go for Fiora. Flash, flash, flash. Nice. And go for Nivia. She's like. And ear right when she spawns. Ear right when. QQ. Ooh. QQ. Oh, QQ. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Out of the minions. Uh, nice, okay, 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 try. Okay, Vayne's oh, coming. Vayne's coming. Run, run. Oh, yeah. Uh, nice. And Jax. <laughs> we, got, we got three, though. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. Um, so now we're going to sell our Dorans and we're going to get our IE. So we went Bloodline. So, uh, yeah, I'm noticing that the Bloodline and Dorans kind of like feels like old old bloodline so it feels like you can get away with that so yeah i think doran's is way more valuable definitely i'm noticing it's the in this new game. instead of the long sword i'm noticing it i mean you could go long sword but i would only go long sword if i'm going blade of the rune king rush right if i'm going blade of the rune king rush I, or, or shield bow rush i would go it but otherwise okay. i wouldn't because if i don't not building lifesteal first item you're not going to have much so it looks like this is doing pretty decent so at this point i don't know what the best next item to build is good question uh, uh, so Maybe. get your pink ward first. Get a pink ward. Always have a pink ward if you can. They're really valuable here. Um, even outside of the game, just so you can place them in bushes and keep vision control. On um, the question here, they're building a lot of health, right? So press tab. Uh, they're building a lot of health and a lot of life steal. So yeah, fly towards dragon while we're talking. 
Um, yeah, Flight of Words Dragon. So either Mortal Reminder to cut out the healing, Blade of the Rune King because they're building a lot of health, or Lord Dominix because they're building a lot of health and, and healing. Those are the two things, right? Health and healing. Lord Dominic seems pretty good because Fiora's also building armor. Yeah, no, no, you're going Lord Dominic. You saw Frozen okay. Heart, so they're building a lot of armor and a lot of health. So that's where Lord Dominic is really good. Yep. Uh, so just focus on the targets. You can be aggressive here. You can be really aggressive. You got your team. Yeah, yeah. You can be aggressive. Don't be afraid to be aggressive yet. You can go. Oh, you got him. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, I would go Lord Dominic though, because press tab. If you're ever wondering about itemization, press tab. Look, Anivia, Frozen Hearts, a Ninja Tabbies, uh, Armor, all Armor. So Lord Dominic, if you're wondering what that item does, you can press Alt and go to a side lane. Maybe go top, fly top, fly top, fly top. Yeah. Okay. Lord Dominic does damage based on how much armor they have and health over you. So if they build a lot of health and armor, Lord Dominic is broken because they're building a lot of health and armor. It's broken to those two stats. Okay. Bork is good into champions who have a lot of, you want movement speed into and build health, okay. right? So mostly health. Okay. If they're building healing, Mortal Reminder be the counter, right? This game, they have a right. lot. They have all three of those. It's just which one's the most prevalent stat? Which one are we fear about? They're building, I see armor the most, a lot of armor. Frozen Heart too, a lot of armor. So Lord Dominic would be the play because anytime you see armor, Lord Dominic has to be a build. So that's like the way I would go with it. Does that kind of make sense? Like you're just kind of yeah, like yeah, looking yeah. at what their prevalent items are and basing it on that. Okay, well, who's fed on their team? Okay, careful about pushing this wave though because our team's yeah. not pushing. So yeah, right There's here, like maybe. What we're going to do is walk, fly in the river, fly in the river. Oh, oh, actually in Baron, you don't have to worry about that. So press Alt. And Baron, you'll back and you never leave Valor for him. Drop a ward in here. Yeah, drop a ward there. And drop a pink ward in one of the, that bush oh on the God. bottom. Perfect. Pink ward, pink ward, pink ward. Perfect. Nice yeah, yeah. And recall. Just recall after that. And just fly top after. So if you're in Baron form, yeah, recall, recall. Then you can press B. Perfect. And you get your double long sword. And then just fly top, catch the wave. Perfect. Yeah, so um, if you're in Baron form and you press B, you'll never leave Valor. That's just a Baron buff, okay? So if you press B and oh, Alt, okay. you'll ne you won't. You'll still be in Alt. It's kind of like a cool buff. Uh, so yeah, just go for it. You can be aggressive into her. Uh, just crash the wave. You're like insanely strong. So we we got a big advantage. If you're in a fight um, into like anyone in this part of the game, you ignite them instantly, okay? Because it makes their healing go down. So if you're ever in a fight against okay. like Fiora Jax, go mid. You can start pathing towards mid. You'll, uh, you'll ignite instantly. So if you're going for a Fiora, just auto ignite her, okay? Auto ignite her. Auto ignite her. Keep going. Keep going. QQ. You win. You win. You don't have to use your E. Nice. There you go. See? You hard win it. Perfect. 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 Should I go back top and push top? Yeah. It looks like you guys can just win mid lane. Just go mid. You guys can just end the game okay. mid. Yeah. Because like at this point, look at the death timers. It's like 20, 30 seconds you have Baron and the minions are pushing. You could just like see like, okay, well, we're probably, can we end before the next person spawns? 10 seconds. Okay. You have your whole team. You have Baron especially. If you have Baron, you're going to push even faster. So it's like, okay, well, we can end this. You know, it's like if we can end here, it's the best play to do. We're not going to worry about going top. Ends the priority if it's ever possible. Hey, really good game, man. How do you feel about that one? Uh, I feel good. I definitely feel like... Uh... <laughs> There's a, 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 a few strong things to take away from it, for sure. Yeah. And especially since this is a matchup, I get to play a whole lot. Like, I'm not super uncomfortable with it. I just don't play it a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can tell that you had confidence in that matchup going in. So what we're going to do is look at your stats. I want to look at the the damage stats. Because I always like looking at these stats just so we can see, like... Because a big thing is how, how we're playing the game, but also how we're damaging. Oh, you look at that. Perfect, man. Perfect. And, uh... Let's see tower damage. So uncheck that on the top left and click damage. To towers. Uh, Un uncheck so that. uncheck. Okay. And then click and then damage to towers. Total damage to, I don't know where it's at. Sorry. It's on the bottom <laughs> down. Show damage to turrets, turrets, turrets. It's up, 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 right there. Uh, turret damage to turrets. Yeah, perfect. Nice. Look at that. Those are the two stats I like the most. Um, okay. Yeah, so that's really good. What's your name on it? It's Rush. Rian V H. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what we're gonna do is you had an amazing game. Um, what I like to do is when we go through games like this, I kind of like just like mm -hmm. looking at the VOD together, just a few, just okay. a few things. Cause like when you're playing the game, for example, um, you're really focused, and I don't want to like mm -hmm. say too much because I want you to focus and I don't want to distract you. But I just kind of like take key notes of some plays we can look at, and I try to look at them together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen, so you can stop okay. your screen share. And you should be able to see it on Discord. Yep, I see it. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. 
Uh, is it working? All right, so this was a really good freeze. Okay, this was the best part. So um, if you're ever unsure about how to freeze, this is something a work in progress. It's more of like a uh, an intense tip. Okay, it's like a something like advanced. Okay, something that like especially in your elo to even think about it's good. So on wave management side, right? You can still see my screen, right? Yes, Are you able to, yeah, perfect, perfect. So right here, okay, this was really good. So if you're ever in a situation like this, okay, um, if they have minion waves pushed, okay, your goal is to freeze the wave. Okay, what that means is get this wave down to four minions that's how you get a freeze any four minions mm -hmm. could be a cannon and three could be a melee any combinations like cannon melee just four minions will be a freeze okay so what your goal is if you have a wave like this which you did it really well this game i just want to point it to you so you can look for it if they recall or any situation like this the best play is you want to make sure these minions can't get to towers so if that means that you're gonna like thin when i say thin out the wave i mean like okay so you want to get this down to four minions so right now there's so many minions way too much so let's mm. say before the wave is about to crash right we want to plan this okay so i'm taking a knowledge here okay we want to freeze this wave that's the goal to do that we want to thin out the waves so when i say thin out the wave we're going to bring this down close to four minions so that when we they use these four extra so what i would do here in this situation when i see a big wave like this i would kill a few of the minions maybe kill like these three for example then just like wait okay just play it by ear just see okay well this wave's really big and we're trying to thin it down remember four minions okay so i'll keep pushing i would push a little bit faster so right here i would keep autoing the minions a little bit again because we okay. want to keep our prime number of four okay because what's going to happen you still got the freeze but the only downside is if we do it too much they're gonna do a lot of damage to us you see you got a lot of minion yeah like one two three four, yeah five, so six. part part of my uh one, one of the things that i struggle with when i'm trying to freeze is uh i end up like Picking i'll, a lot of I'll end up in that situation well actually it's the opposite so i was trying to um i was trying to let them live longer than i normally do for the sake of getting it and trying to like do something outside of what i normally do because what ends up happening is is i'll try and kill a few of them and i'll kill too many and then my freeze is like it just turns into a slow push okay. so like i'll kill a few wait for wait for my um and then i'll wait for the minions to like try and level out to see if you know and i'll just do the math wrong in my head so i'll end up my cannon minion will kill one too many minions and then there's you know my slow push is gone or my yeah. freeze is gone slow push happens which slow push isn't bad it's just there's certain situations where i want the freeze versus the slow push and uh like like in this one like you were talking about i mm -hmm. definitely want the freeze there um but the on the flip side of that like you said i was taking way too much damage from the minions yeah so what you could do is maybe just like kind of play it by here because it's really tough because like you're in a game and there's so much to focus on but if you want to break it down you could do a quick like like just a, a a guesstimate on how many minions so right here okay because you're not gonna be able to count every single minion it's hard to do like like uh full out like exact numbers while you're playing because there's so much on your mind right but if you have a chance to do a guesstimate okay well i can just guesstimate i have like around like five minions here even if you're not perfectly say like obviously it's more than that but we can just say okay around five six minions okay just like because you're, you're in game you're focused on a lot look how many minions he has okay so we've got a fat chunk okay his minions right here okay yeah. he's got a lot more okay remember i said four minions extra okay so if he's got four minions extra the wave will push so right here what i will do is i notice that he's got way more just look at the wave don't even do the numbers he has way more hmm. minions than my minions just compare the waves okay he's got way more okay i can kill a few and play by ear maybe i'll kill two minions because i again our, my magic number is four okay he needs four extra at the end of the wave he's killing the wave these minions are destroying the wave okay so right here i'll probably kill like three minions two or three and then play by here okay so right here i notice okay, okay as my minions are dying now okay now i have four minions okay now i have now i have three minions okay so now i'm getting to the magic number okay now since right. i have three minions left he's got way more than four my magic number is four so i'm gonna kill like okay one two three maybe kill all three of these guys maybe kill two of the melees for example and that's how i can get to them my, my magic number of four so you see what i mean okay. you can plan it based yeah, on here, those, like, my minions were i said so that's yeah okay so i was focused on the last hits i was trying or not last hits but i was focused on thinning out and trying to get the gold and i wasn't realizing how fast my minions were disappearing in front of me mm -hmm. uh which is which is what made it a little more difficult yeah, to freeze a lot so, on okay. your mind oh 100 yeah, yeah, yeah in that yeah. situation it's, it's tough as heck right the thing is you mm -hmm. got the wave frozen by the way i'm just letting you know you did it correctly but the only thing is we have to take a lot of minion damage in the lot, process right. so just, just just be mm -hmm. mindful of that because let's say Fiora's top lane right here we want to keep that perma freeze if i'm trying to freeze mm -hmm. that wave i'm low she can just kill me she wasn't here thankfully here mm -hmm. but just just recognize of habits just be mindful of that in the future because this wave right mm -hmm. here like this was really good by the way because you got the wave perfectly frozen man it was insanely good like this is awesome right here um like you kept this wave frozen too like i said magic number four if you have five it's still okay too um you perfect you kept this wave frozen good job you didn't take any damage there perfect okay so what we did really well here what you're doing in this situation okay 
Let's say we got the freeze perfect and he backed, okay? We have a fat CS lead. Look, we got 11 minions over him plus he's four extra, okay? Like I said, if you're in these mm -hmm. situations, you want to get a recall off. You're level six. You want to get the recall off to like full HP, get the item advantage, mm -hmm. right? Because right now we have 1k gold that we didn't spend. She has a fat item advantage. We got boots and longsword. We have boots and Dorans. She has Dorans. So right now she has uh, a cloth armor and longsword over us right now. So we never want to stay mm -hmm. in this lane because we're low. And she has um, item advantage. Well, you did really well here, which I want you to apply in your games. If you get a freeze or if you, she gets a back off and you get a kill on her, for example, and she comes back. And we're in this situation. It's going to happen a lot where she buys and she's full HP. I didn't buy and I have, I have a lot of gold I'm sitting on and I'm lower and I want to get a back off. Again, plan it on your cannon wave. So right here, okay? okay. Just think, okay? So cannon wave comes every three waves, okay? So we just mm -hmm. had a non-cannon wave. This wave's not cannon wave. I can just infer next one's cannon wave, okay? If you're ever unsure what you can do, is if you're not sure, okay, is the next wave a cannon wave or not cannon wave? Just like take a quick second, look back here. Look mm -hmm. back here. I can see, okay, it's cannons are spawning. Okay, so I know it's a cannon wave. So you can do that too. It's a quick tech. You can look at your minions. Your minions are the cheat code for that. So right here, you know next wave is okay. cannon wave. So like I said, what you, what you did really well here is like, okay, well, I know the next wave is cannon wave. I'm going to push this wave. Okay. Shove this wave and then you're going to recall here. Now, a lot of players make a mistake. Okay. They stay here. They like think of the cannon waves like, okay, every cannon wave is the best chance to get a back off, the best opportunity. So every, so, every, so if I don't back on this wave, I have to stay for another three waves to get a good back. So it's like you have right, to back okay. here, right? Because otherwise, okay, if you don't back here and you stay and then you're like, okay, I got to stay because you take a bad trade or you stay. The little, the little you, trades add up. Yeah, like exactly. if she, if I take one bad trade, I'm dead. And you can get dove here too. And the other thing too, like let's say you stay mm -hmm. for this wave and then next wave comes. If you back on this wave, you're going to lose the whole wave because she's just going to crash it easily. You want to back on the cannon because look what happens. You're recalling here, right? Look at this. Look how hard it is for her to crash the wave because the cannon's hard to kill too. It's a lot. It's an extra minion in the wave and look, it's so tanky. So look right here, you're in shop right now. You're backing your shop. You're buying. Okay, especially with Quinault. Look, she's pushing the wave as fast as she can. She's hard shoving this. Look, she's hard shoving. Look how hard it is because the cannon minion is so tanky. It's so hard to kill it, okay? Even when they kill the wave. So first of all, the wave's harder to push. Second, so look, look. The wave push, you're gonna lose one melee minion. That's it, okay? Because right there, the melee minion hits the first. The cannon minion's gonna hit. Uh, the tower is gonna hit the first melee minion. Then it's gonna take the, tank, take the cannon. Look at this. This cannon is basically saving the wave. Every tower shot would be a minion dying, but now every tower shot it's one cannon minion absorbing it all. So it's like, look, gotcha. you come to lane, come to lane here. You got, you lost one melee minion. That's it. Two melee minions because the other one was dying, but usually you just lose one because the other one was low. But you see, you're going to lose something on the recall no matter what. It's, if you back on the next right. wave, let's say you back on this wave, you lose all six minions, right? You lose all six. Right. There's a lot of XP, a lot of gold. Whereas some people are like, oh no, I don't want to lose the cannon. You're not even going to lose the cannon if you back before. You plan it, okay? You back before the wave started. You'll be there before the cannon dies. The cannon is there to tank, absorb the whole wave. So that's the mindset. If you ever need a recall off, you're looking for that cannon wave to get that recall. Does that make sense? That's what we're going for. Right here, you did it perfectly. Look at how much of an advantage you got. You lost nothing. Look, you still have a fat CS lead on him, right? You maintained that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want you to just keep in mind because you did it well here. I just want to uh, let you know about it so that you can think about it when you're playing. Okay, does that make sense? Um, mm -hmm. So that's perfect. So now right here, you got some good autos. Perfect, perfect. She went W or she went Q away. Good stuff. Uh, this was good. I think it was an opportunity. I think this was this one. I think it was this play. Was it? Um, uh, oh, no, no, she, she backed. Back. Oh, she, she, oh, yeah. she, she went into the, the bush and I uh, was uh, afraid that she was going to dash out on me. Uh, so I was kind of trying to play it safe and then she ended up backing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, perfect. And then we got the solo kill on her. This was perfect. Okay, remember Fiora, you don't use your E, so you can't lose. If you're winning the fight, she has to W. So you see, you yeah, use okay. E after W. You play so that perfectly. Something, that's something that I was messing up. So, like, normally when I play Fiora, uh, what ends up happening is, right, I try and bait the W with my E. So I'll, like, E and sidestep, and I'm, I'm pretty good at that. But if a Fiora knows how to play around it, she'll wait a second and wait for me to sidestep before she throws her W. Um, oh, but if the thing so is, that's... if she does that, if she waits for it, there's a good chance that um, she won't get it too because it has to be during the E animation because you have to CC her. So if I E her and I sidestep, she could look huh. for it, right? She could. But the second she got a small window where she's still knocked up and slowed, so then the, the knock up will go through too. Because most times, okay. just like maybe a, a one or a Fiora uh, will do it. Because I'm saying even challenger Fioras don't even realize this, okay? When you E and then you go sidestep, they're going to throw their W always in a straight line. Very rare they'll go sideways, just blah of odds. The best chance is that they're going to throw it there. You could do that play, okay? Like right here, for example, it's like the only fear is that just keep in mind of that. Because if you E first, it's still a good play. But if she's low like this, I don't have to E. I don't have to risk it. It's a gamble if you throw it, right? But like right here, mm -hmm. if she's low, she just use her Q. 
you feel like you just like she's low enough right you could just go for kill like if you feel like okay she's just gonna die if i just keep fighting her right like right here her hp is kind of low all you do is just keep bottling her if ignite too it's even better just keep bottling her she's gonna have to right. w first she's gonna have when she's low enough she has to w she has no choice she has to throw it then you just wait okay now she's gonna eat because she has to throw it she's gonna die if she doesn't so it's like might as well try and then go now you eat after it's free so in that situation right. let's say you're both full hp right and she jumps on you you could throw an e first but just be mindful because he jumps on you she can be ready for it so just be quick the way you want to do okay let's say you're playing against fiora and let's say she's full hp and you're gonna lose the fight because this is a fight where you win so i want you to keep in mind on this okay because it changes let's say she's full hp and you're gonna lose it she just jumped on you like this okay right what you want to do is you want to eat instantly when she jumps on you right you have to be quick the closer that you okay. are to her body the better because like if i'm far away like so let's say i'm standing here and i eat if I E here, it's a longer range where she can see the E and react to it, right? But like if I'm mm -hmm. right on top of her and I E her, there's no animation because like I'm right on top of her. It's just a pushback. There's not the push forward. If I E here is a push forward pushback. If I right here on top of her is just a pushback. Less reaction time, mm -hmm. right? Quicker. So what I would do here, if she jumps on me like this, I'm going to die. I would E right away very quick and then sidestep instantly. And then wait for a W okay. and hit the Harrier. If she doesn't throw a W, just hit the hair and run. Two options. Okay. She's gonna, most times she's going to W right away. Most times. But if she doesn't W right away, I'm just going to wait and just throw the auto. Like, get the Harrier. It's like, I'm not going to hit the okay. Harrier right away and play by ear. Like, I'll E right away. Like, walk in, like, diagonal or sideways. It's important to walk sideways. So, that's, if you... Because if I E and I just, like, auto the Harrier, she'll W and I get stunned. But if I E and then side and kind of sidestep, play by ear. It's just two options. W right away. Okay, then I wait for it. Auto Harrier after. We're good. Otherwise, she doesn't throw W at all. Okay, hit the Harrier and then run. You know? It's just it's just Damn. those two options. But the close, the only thing though is be, like you want to be as close as possible to her. You don't you want to E like right when she jumps on you, that's the perfect time. Because if I E right here, right, because it gives you that that, that uh, greatest distance when they're right on top of you. Exactly, the, and the less <clears throat> animation, less reaction time. Because again, they can't see. There's no push forward. There's just a push back, <clears throat> so it's quick, right? So that's the thing <clears throat> too. Be mindful because some fjords will QW, so that's the thing. To show Q and W to predict it, so just be mindful of that <clears throat> too. So just a lot of things. It's more of a guessing game. But just try to like play it by ear on how confident I'm just knowing that in the lower elos, they're a little bit like less reaction time on W. So if she cues on mm -hmm. you, you can probably just like E on the side step right away. You'll probably have time for that. So okay. yeah, this fight, you won it, so it's good. Um, let's see. Yeah, and that's this is this is something even though, you know, like you said, I win this fight, uh I, I never would hold on to my E that long. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. typically. Yeah, yeah. And uh so that's something I'm gonna like it, with that matchup specific, I'm gonna try and do more often because it's not something that I knew to do. So that's yeah, definitely yeah. 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 I can hold on to my E. Yeah, like right here, what you could do is you could remember when she jumps on you. Like because I think we yeah, right now we see a Nivea, okay, because we have the blue. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, we see Anivia like right here. So it's also two. I know like, we have a lot on our mind, but these things too, like if we see the Anivia coming, we come back off earlier. But let's say like we see Anivia coming and she's jumping on us. Like we have this information and we know, okay, we know right now we're getting ganked by Anivia. It's like what you could do if you're getting ganked right here, if you're always going to Q right away, I would E right here. Like I would E instantly. Like right when she jumps on me, E, hit the Harrier, okay. run, and try to like flash the Anivia Q and you're chilling because now you're pushed back so far away from Fiora, she can't participate in the fight. Um, and mm -hmm. you got the best option. So that's an option too. I would try to go for that um, because now she got she's like close to us. So now if she's close to us, she can keep getting her cues off, right? Let's say you're against a mm -hmm. Fiora, right? Um, what's going to happen is if, like I said, if she gets a cue on a champion or a minion, her cue refunds halved, right? So if she stays close to you, she can constantly cue you and get the refund. So if I right here, if she cues okay. on me and then I E right away and hit the hair and run, she can't get her Q back because then she's going to be out of range to hit that second Q. So she'll never get it back. So she's perma out of the fight. So now you just got to worry okay. about Anivia and then just flash her. So that's the thing about Fiora. If she's engaging on you and setting up for a gank especially, you want to get that E off, especially if it's a long chase. If it's a long chase, you want to E right away because otherwise mm -hmm. she's going to keep getting the Qs up because right here, like you're going to see, like she's going to, since like in this situation, she's going to, look, her Q's going to keep coming back, right? Because she's going to keep hitting you with it. So like, even though you flash it, which is good, she can keep getting the Qs off. Look, it's like three seconds. Look at that C. So that situation, it's like, it's, uh, you want to try to like get the E because like as if your works, you see how low cooldown her Q is when she hits you. If she yeah. hits nothing, her Q is a long cooldown. It's, uh, where is it? I think it should say here. Yeah. It's five. It's almost six seconds. If she doesn't hit someone, if she hits someone, it's three seconds. So it's half almost 50%. Oh. Mm. Wow. So you see what I mean? So that's the difference, right? She, if she misses the Q, realize that too. If she, if she Qs away from you, her Q is a lot longer. So you can be more aggressive too. 
Um, you can use that as a window to engage. Okay, if you're accused away. Okay, I'm probably going to run on her because your Q is going to take longer to come back. So it's also thanks too. Um, good job on the escape too. There's a way we can live here though. Even at this play right here, there's a way we can live because this is really good. You got the E off. It was perfect. But the one thing, if you ever get in a situation like this, right? You got the E off. It was perfect. The saving grace is you want to hit that Harrier mark the second it comes, like as quick as possible. Does that make sense? Okay. Right here, like you have to like, because in this situation, there's a lot of panic, right? And a lot of players are going to be like, oh, I got to just like run. I'm scared. I can't have time to throw an auto attack, but it's always better to throw mm -hmm. the auto attack because if I take a quick like millisecond to like stop and get the auto, it gets me that moon speed to have the best chance of living. Because I guess like right here, the downside is we waited too long for the Harrier, right? You see this? We had a little bit too gotcha. long to throw the Harrier. So then now it's like we're not getting that moon speed. So now Fury has time to get the Q off. And then right we hit now, the now it's too late. It's too late. You right. see that? Okay. That makes okay. sense. So okay. you want basically, if you're in a situation like this and you're running away, every time you see a Harrier mark and you're running like away, hit that Harrier right away. The second that you okay. have a chance to, it's always the best option. Like the second you have it, because then you have the movement speed. If you hit it right away, you'd be out of her W range. You'd be out of her Q range. They even hit you. So that makes sense with that. Yeah, it does. Um, uh, okay, and this fight too. This was a good one to look at because ooh, let's see this because this is the situation we're going to talk about where you can change it up. If she cues on you, you could E right away too. Those are options you could do because especially like these Fiora players and these Elos, they're going to have terrible reaction times. I'm telling you, they will have the worst reaction times. Okay, so you can get away with Eing before her W a lot of times. Okay, so right here she's going in. Okay, right here, like try to like find a way, like remember as close as possible to you. Okay, like find an opportunity. I would say like right here, like uh, in a situation like this, what happens in the future, try to find an opportunity to throw an E off early because if you're both full HP, remember I talked about before, if she's low, don't throw the E at all and just wait and just fight it out. But if you're both full okay. HP, okay, you can find an opportunity <laughs> to throw, but just wait for her to come as close as possible to you. Like right here, I wouldn't E, for example, right? Because it's like boom, boom. It's like kind of doomed. Wait for her to right. queue on you and just find an opportunity. Like right here, maybe you can do, right when she jumps on you, I can probably like throw the E like right there. She won't react to it. It'll be way too quick. You can probably E like right here and sidestep. You'll probably ju juke it right there. That's a good opportunity. Um, right here when she ults, now she's thinking about it. So it's like kind of scary because she's like fully engraved on it. Um, so that's the part where she can kind of like have that situation. It was really close. You were actually really close to getting out. Like you got the speed too. You were really close on that. But like yeah, in that situation, if you're both full HP into Fiora, find an opportunity to E right when she jumps on you. Maybe like what I like to do is in this situation right here, I would do it on her first Q. Like right here, if, she, if she's like coming in and you're chilling here, right? She's right here. You're chilling. You're chilling. You're chilling. You're chilling. You're chilling. Right when she like cues on a mini wave like this, like really aggressive. Right here, what I would do is I would E and sidestep. Like e, like right when she gets in, the closer I am to her, I would just like E sidestep because again, it's such a quick animation. The second she she has to predict, okay? She has a W right when she cues. Like she has to predict it, okay? Because she can't react. If you E right here and she reacts W, it's too slow of an animation. If you side, you'll sidestep quicker than her W will land. As long as you sidestep, as long as you E then sidestep, you'll get it every time, right? Because fear okay. players, they think that. They think that you're going to E and go in a straight line. She can just W it, but she can't do that. She has to predict it. Because if she, if you throw the E off first and then she Ws right after your E animation, she'll miss it every time if you went, if you go sidestep instantly. So what I would do here is she jumps on me here. I would E her right away because you're close, right? Like I said, you want to be close. So she sees less reaction time. Then when she realizes mm -hmm. she'll throw the W mm -hmm. animation, don't even worry about that. Just E and sidestep. You have no time to even think about her W. Just E, sidestep, wait for it. When W goes away, hit Harrier. If she doesn't throw W, just hit the Harrier and run. Does that kind of make sense? It's a win-win situation. The only time it loses is if she, um, if she throws W and predicts it for firsthand. But most times they don't do that. So just law of odds is usually better because um, she'll get a lot of cues and just stick on you like glue here. Right? Does that make sense? Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Something I something I haven't con or never considered with uh, her, and I guess with a lot of matchups is like. Uh, you know, during the like uh, dueling, like during like a dueling phase where we're just kind of like throwing trades at each other, uh, you know, I feel like there's certain types of ways to engage a lot of people, right? Like with Teemo, like I got to land my Q first a lot of the time before I can engage on him. Um, but a lot of I haven't like considered with Fiora, like depending on her HP, that the way I'm going to trade into her is going to be completely different, right? Like you were talking about like saving my E whenever she's low, but using E as a reflex whenever she's got a lot of HP, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like typically I would go, no matter what her HP is, if I know I can't all in and kill her, then I'm going to trade the same type of way, but trying to like evaluate how much HP she has left and adjusting the way I need to uh, trade with her is something I hadn't thought about before. So yeah. that yeah, helps because a lot. 
think about it like this, okay? If I eat her ever when her W's up, it's always a risk. Sometimes it's less of a risk, sometimes it's right. more of a risk, but it's always a risk. If I know, like, the other fight, it's a 100% win if you don't eat because she's low enough. So why would you take that risk if you don't have to? If you're in a fight like this, right, right you're probably going to take more of a risk because you just think she's full HP, she's jumping on you with alt. She probably wins that, to be honest, right? So if that situation, you want to find a way to eat. Because look right here, okay? Look at this fight. Okay. This is like if she's gonna win this fight anyways, I might as well try to use the E yeah, to get away. Because like I said, they have to predict it. They can't react. The only time this right. doesn't work, okay, I'm saying 99% of your players, even challenger players, won't won't be able to do it. They have to predict it. Like you have to Q and W right away. Like Q W. You have At to do that. Time. Because if you because like if I E right here and then she presses W, if you sidestep right away, you play the mechanic. You have to do a proper limber E and then instantly sidestep. It would be very quick. Mm -hmm. If you do that, mm -hmm. she misses every time. Even I do this in challenger players. They even the best viewer players can't get this it's impossible because it's like no mm -hmm. human brain can react to time they can't do it they have to predict and you said it's a prediction you said that you wait until after the sidestep to do the harrier right because when she uses her w she can't like she doesn't take damage yeah, right exactly. no you lose the harrier proc that's why you lose the harrier mm -hmm. proc right I, I hit the harrier during the w i lose it and the damage but the harrier proc's gone i don't i don't get the movement speed or anything so that's why you want to do oh, it oh 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 so sh it's if gone. she's wing, you don't get the movement speed no, either you get nothing yeah that's why we wait. That's, oh, the, that's the number one thing okay. that's why you I have didn't to know wait that. yeah you have to wait you that. have to wait it's for the damage but that's why it cancels everything so all damage all everything wow. you get you get nothing okay. so the mark doesn't go up so you don't get anything right it's just like shen w mm -hmm. if shen w's and i hit the harrier nothing right. happens because it nothing blocks happens it. Yeah. yeah so look right here for example like long fight right she has so much time to like react to it right like look what's gonna mm -hmm. happen like well look what happens like you fought and you're like damn i gotta throw my e look what happens that she doesn't even w it you see even when she's ready you see mm -hmm. fewer players will never get that w you see they'll never get it it's way too like gotcha. you know like even the long fight you see that's the fight where her brain's fully thinking okay quinn's gonna eat i gotta be ready they don't throw it you're right. gonna notice that they don't throw it or they mess it up right you're gonna notice that like you you don't have to worry about getting the perfect e a lot of times because they just like look at that you'll e there look at that timing like it's such a hard time because look at this look what happens when you e this right look at this so look at this is the slow so right here you're remember like we want to be as close as possible to her though that's the thing like right here, you were really close to her. Look, your E right here. Okay, if she presses, like you E her, she CC. Okay, this is why it's broken. If I E her like this, okay, she CCs. She has a W before the E comes. Before the E, she has to predict it, right? Because if I E first, she's knocked up. She can't press an ability for the very first millisecond because she's knocked up. That's how knockup works, right? Knock back. She can't W yet, mm -hmm. right? Right here, she can channel the W animation, right? But look what happens. She starts it now. It takes a little millisecond to go. She'll start targeting, you know, she'll lunge back, like right here. Then you land, and then you sidestep, and then she misses every time. You see what I mean? She has to okay. throw the W mm -hmm. literally before the E lands. If she Ws after the E, if you're right on top of her, even if she does it like right away, if she, her, her instinct is godlike in the second right after she Ws, you'll still mm -hmm. be quicker so long as that... The only way you lose it is if she Ws before the E hits, which again, it's a prediction, which is hard to do because she has to see when you're going to E. You see what I mean? Right. Because if she misses well, the prediction... And I definitely... Yeah, I've definitely would. played against Fioras that um, do like try reflexively to use that W uh, as soon as I E them. Um, I've played against a few who who, who do it pretty it. well, yeah. but they, they still can't like if you sidestep fast enough. It's kind of like Dr. Mundo when you're doing the Quinchies at the beginning with Dr. Mundo, like his Q is pretty fast. Um, I think that's his Q, right? Where he yeah, throws yeah, out the yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so his Q is pretty fast and hard to sidestep. Um, and so if he's predicting it, just like they might be predicting that you're about to vault off of them, uh, it's still like you can still do it. It's it's, yeah. it's not super challenging to, to sidestep the W. Exactly. Exactly. And it's super easy to do. And again, it works like 99% of the time. Just law of odds. Okay. Let's say you're playing against like 100 Fiora games. If you do that mechanic, like 95 of them, it's going to work. The five Fiora's are going to predict it, you know, but just law of odds is just the best play to do. Because if you don't do it, you're going to die. You have to throw it. Like, especially if it's a full all in, you're both full HP and you got no tower to run to. You have to throw it. Mm -hmm. So it's just like the best law of odds and just like a statistical standpoint, you want to get the best odds in a scenario. The best odds is that most Fiora players are going to int it. The very, remember, it's a prediction, always a prediction. So is this Fiora going to predict I'm going to E right at this second? Okay. Because if she mm -hmm. misses W, right? She can't just like, she just has a disadvantage every time. Because if she W's like randomly to predict it and she misses that, you just E right after W and she loses that, you know? So like she can't miss mm -hmm. it. She can't miss it. She loses. She, you're going to get away if she misses it. She has to get it perfect right. timing. It's harder on her. She has to get it on the one time when you E. She has to predict. Okay, she's playing Fear into Quinn. She has to predict the exact second before your E goes off that you're going to E but before you do it. it. And if she right. misses it, you just get a free escape. She has to time it complete, perfect, and predict it. Can't, can't, can't react. So it's just, it's really mm -hmm. stressful. So again, like I said, most challenger players, 
uh, even mess it up. So yeah, right here, this is really good solo kill. Really good stuff. Yeah, perfect. She flashes. That's why I saved Gale Force. Then you Gale Force Ian. You play this perfectly. That's what you want to do. Perfect. Um, and then we learned something here. Um, this was good that this happened because we didn't know this before. Um, we talked about this in the game. Uh, is that your E cancels uh, Anivia ult. So if you're in a situation like this, you push the wave, which was really good. Um, here, right here. She, she ults. So right here, what, what happened, okay? There's two options, okay? If you see the Anivia Q coming into animation, I can E during that animation because she throws the Q and it looks Dodge weird. It. But like, it's a skill shot that lands an ability. So if she, press, if she presses it right here, which she likely will if she throws the thing, she throws the Q here. The hitbox is only right here, okay? So if I press E right here, it looks like it's going to hit you because like it's an animation, a skill shot, and that's how our brains are programmed. But that's not how right. it works. The, skill, the, the hitbox is only right here. So if you see the Q animation, gotcha. I can E right here, it'll dodge it because again, the hitbox is here, so it's gonna miss every time. That make sense? That's one option, okay? Um, right. But if you it's get like dodging, it, uh, it's like dodging a um, a gank blank yeah, or Chogath yeah. yeah. or any of those. Okay, yeah, okay, so I didn't know that weird. either. It's weird because it's the animation. Like Chogath, you just see it's a circle. Right here, it's like in a line, so your brain's accustomed to okay, in a straight line, I'm gonna get the hitbox all the way through. But it's not the case. Right here, you see the like the little explosion. That's the hitbox. Mm -hmm. So if you e during it, it's you'll miss it every time. Is that her Q? Yeah, her Q. Yeah, exactly. Her Q. What okay. happens to Anivia if she lands her Q or, Q or Alt on you? She you get a stack on you of like uh, Frost or whatever you're, you're chilled. And then if she throws her okay. E, it does extra damage. But you need these two to hit you. One of the two. If her Alt or her Q hits you, her E does amplified damage. But if she doesn't hit them on you, um, it doesn't do any damage. So right here again, if you get stunned, so it's okay. Basically, if I had if I had just E'd her when she threw her Q, then it would have canceled the ult and I would have avoided the Q. And the Q's gone. She's literally useless. Oh my God. She's literally okay. useless. So okay. now you know what to look. She's literally useless. Yeah, the that's thing is, really if you get good stunned by it though, it's okay. Because look, it's not going to one shot you yet, but you have to E the second you can. Because right here, your first line is, remember, we know that now. We didn't know it before, but her ult um, right. gets canceled uh, by E, by CC. Okay. So your okay. E is CC. So like anytime you see an Anivia, because right here her ult does a lot of damage as you're noticing your, your goal is to right. kind of cancel it but now we know okay so every time you see it you can just throw your e on her and it cancels because right there you just eat in a cancel but it was just a little too late so the first line is you right. can e dodge the q if you don't get that because sometimes it's tough it's okay uh e anytime just to cancel the alt and then blind you in that makes sense with that yeah no that's uh, yeah that's i had no idea that that worked that way so that's yeah. <laughs> really good information to know yeah yeah um okay so right i feel so like that's also some of the struggle that i have in this game is uh just some of the um uh because i only have been playing for a year there's certain yeah. like matchups that just don't come up very often so i oh, don't 100%. know like the full range of abilities oh 100 percent. you know some things are just a little bit tougher right this situation right mm -hmm. here is more of like a coaching thing because like i was telling you something and you misunderstood it's okay because i didn't explain mm -hmm. it like uh, as best as i could here so that's why you were trying to like you know you weren't understanding fully it's okay about this death because i know that like if you're really in game you know it's not this isn't gonna happen so don't worry about this where you pressed alt and died there it's totally okay but just the one thing i want to keep in mind is that if you're in a situation like this you can cancel alt if you can so just like if you're pressing alt in a situation like this first of all um is that you can cancel it so if you're pressing alt here um let's say like so just very normally if you're just trying to alt and they're going to try to cancel and run at you what you do is you press r right you press r Ooh, where is it you press r and then you can just press it again just cancel it but again that's not going to happen because this is a thing again just uh when you're by yourself that won't happen so what i was trying to thing, say yeah okay what i was trying to say because that doesn't matter the mechanical thing is not going to happen when you're alone okay okay let's right. see the situation okay you have two people here swain's coming for a gank right what we want to do so do you is think we maybe i should have ulted and went around where swain's coming from uh no i wouldn't uh, you could i probably wouldn't do that what i would do is you have to leave vision because if i alt in vision they're going to try to cancel it or they're going to see your alting and they're going to be like okay well, i mean kind of sus because i'm going to get ran down here what i would do is right. first line and in every situation here if we know that we're getting a fight and we're planning it i would walk right out of vision if i walk to tower they can't see me i would walk back here press alt right here which i was trying to say now you're in alt mm -hmm. form you wait for swain to come when swain walks up now you fly in with alt so you get that extra harrier mark and the speed to come in does that make sense but you right. don't want so them to see because if they see you're an alt they're going to suspect something if i just like press alt here they're gonna be like okay i'm getting ganked i'm gonna run away or they're gonna try to cancel it one of the two you want to alt out of vision so walk back press alt they don't see the channel they can't cancel they don't see you then you just come in with swain in bird form and then they're just kind of like oh damn they're gonna realize when it's too late because you're gonna wait there in alt you're gonna wait out of vision for swain you're gonna wait back here right you're gonna be in alt form they're gonna wait for swain just literally wait they're gonna push the wave just wait for them swain's gonna come up right then what's gonna happen is right when swain walks up right 
Yeah, again, don't worry about that. But like right here, what's going to happen? Swain's going to be up. Then we just go together and we just kill them when you're in alt form. Does that kind of make sense with what I'm saying? That's yeah. the situation that you're going to be looking for. If someone's ganking your teammates planning a play, walk out of vision or walk in a bush, alt and out of vision. And it's always good to alt out of vision whenever possible because they don't see it or they can't cancel it. And then um, and then go in with bird form. Wait for your team. Because then you come in with bird form, they expect it when it's too late. They see you when Swain comes. You'll both go together and you're in alt. Does that make sense? So the question I have for that, and again, this is very situational based on, you know, the this particular, uh, like, it's very situational. Uh, but because my tower is like, um, it, it's, it's only got like half health, essentially. Do you think that it makes more sense? Like if I went down and ulted out of vision, right? With my movement speed, would it make more sense to make them think that I backed? Because if they crash that wave fast enough, they're gonna come into, like they're gonna be able to see me, right? If they crash the tower, right? So do you think it makes more sense to come down and ult and make it look like I, I left and I'm giving up the tower and then loop around with Swain the other way or to come back through in lane? Oh, that's a really good question, man. Okay, first of because all, because if, if like, my if my tower had more health, then I'm not worried about them taking it, right? But if I feel like if they're gonna take it either way, that it might make more sense for me to loop around with Swain. Because yeah. I think I'm fast enough. Yeah, this is a really, really, really good question you posed there. An amazing question. So first of all, the the because I was saying about the alting on a vision. I was implying mm -hmm. when I was saying that is that you want to pretend you're backing by that because you're going to stay out of vision the whole time. You're going to like chill like right here. You want to be out of vision. Okay. So you're pretending okay. the back. Okay. That's what you're doing. Essentially, you're pretending you're backing. So they shove the wave. Exactly. That's exactly the purpose of it. What you're saying is basically loop around with swing. I would say that's a good play, but I think the better play is wait right here and loop this way. Why? Because if Swain goes this way and you go this way, it's just like it limits your options if you both go together. It likely still work as a double kill, but the best play that I think is waiting for Swain right here and you go in this way because now you're coming from both options. Let's say Navy's in bush would be quicker there, or you could just go together. Swain's right here, cut him off, and you go this way. It's a lot right. harder for someone to fight a play when one person's here, one person's here, than both here. Right? You see what I mean? Because okay. then maybe you can throw a stun yeah. and hit both of us. If you have someone coming from both angles, plus you can probably bait his abilities before Swain comes in. Let's say I like come right. in here with alt. I can bait a Nivea Q. You come to me, I can like sidestep it or bait it. He'll throw it at me and Swain gets a free kill. If we both go together, he has more options to outplay. Maybe like stun both of us. Maybe Fiora like getting both of us. Maybe she's backing earlier and like if I come this way, I'm too slow. It's always better in my in my opinion to come both ways. So Swain's coming this way, I'm coming this way. Right. It's like you're you're playing this way. It's like, well, damn, you're so much pressure, you're gonna you're gonna panic. You got someone coming on both sides of you. What do you do? It's really tough. Here, it's not bad, though. It's okay. not a bad play, but I think in, in, in a situation like this, I think it would be better going this way. Just because, let's say you both go this way, and let's say the situation's a little different, the wave's crashing her tower. Let's just pretend. Um, what they can do, if you both come this way, and like the wave's under tower, they can both it's be like, okay, damn, they're both coming. I'm just going to run this way. They're going to run this way. Maybe. Right. maybe like, and so then, that, and then the I'm going to be the only one that can catch up to them, and then it's a 2v1 with me versus the two of them. Then they blast right. and then, <laughs> Yeah. You know? And then it's a 2v1 with Swain. Yeah. 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 And then and they separate us. Okay. And this situation, it wouldn't happen. But I'm just saying, like, just love, just like the actual, like, gameplay situation, I would say the best play is just wait a vision, like you said, we're going to do it regardless. I would path this way. Swain path this way. Cut them off. Can't do anything cornered. Free kill. Make sense? Yep. Yeah, so perfect. That really, there wasn't many things you, like, you, you did a really good game. So I noticed a lot of great things this game. I thought it was really well. The one thing I want to leave with you for the week, okay, because I always try to have a goal, is the week, the one I wanted you to work on is um practice the freezing a little bit. Okay, remember, four minions is the way, because you did a good job at it. We could do a little bit better. We're just thinning out the minions a little bit, so that was good. The second thing I want you to practice, again, this is a little different because if you're playing by yourself, it's a little different. I understand the environment completely. I want you to try mm -hmm. practicing um, coming out of your comfort zone and taking risk, you know? There's some situations mm -hmm. where Fiora's pushing but we're not making the play on her and it's a free kill you know there's sometimes where Vayne's mm -hmm. pushing and we're not getting the kill I want you to find that like if you feel like okay look at like look at the items look at how strong you are and just have an instinct okay well I've played fights like this before I know I win this take those risks if you're ahead and you feel like you win a fight don't give up opportunities if you're a split pushing and you think like you're stronger than her and you got Gale Force Flash Ignite up and you just you know how to play it and you're confident in yourself take those risks take those plays okay it's always trying okay. to have like practice the aggression practice taking yourself in those limits i understand completely because you're playing in a coaching environment different right you're yeah i was gonna risks. say i feel like i was gonna say i feel like i was taking less risks i was playing a little bit safer than i typically oh, do but yeah perfect yeah. okay so it's good well in your games you're gonna be doing that but i just want to keep that in mind just keep taking those situations like calculate the plays but the one thing that statistically mm -hmm. what you could do is 
uh, I want you to press tab bar. This is something I notice a lot of players, but it's really important, okay? Because a lot mm -hmm. of players when they play, again, it's different because I know you I know a lot, but just like in general, this is something I notice with a lot of players. So you can think about if it applies to you or not. It's like, mm -hmm. I want you to tab as much as you can when you're in shop, okay? Because if we're tabbing, right? I want you to press tab whenever you're in base or doing nothing. Update yourself on everything, everything at all points, okay? Yeah. You should always know it should be a point, okay? Where we're playing the game and I can ask, okay, well, uh, who's worth bounty on their team? If we're not looking at the stats, you should be yeah. able to answer that question. If you can't answer that question, that means you're not tabbing enough because before every fight, okay, you should be knowing every information. It's so important, okay? If I if I don't tab enough, right? You don't know, okay? My vein is my Caitlyn's one and four, okay? So if we take a fight with Caitlyn against like a vein, we're probably gonna like you know vein Anivia. We're probably gonna lose that maybe because Caitlyn's out of the game. She's really behind vein's fed. Right. She with bounty. So first of all, you know who to focus by knowing who's bounty. You know who's fed on their team. You know who's weak on your team, right? It's not even just enemies and laners. It's also your teammates too. Just like updating yourself. What enemies are building? You have to be knowing that by checking. Okay, that's mm -hmm. how you decide what you're gonna build. If you ever ask me a question, okay, well, what do I build? Press tab and look at the items and make a judgment. Again, it's, it's, uh, when you get more invested in the game, you'll see what items are better into what what build. But right. when you see what items they're building, you're gonna have like you can also use common sense in there. Okay, they have a lot of AP champs. Okay, maybe I build wit's end. Okay, um, something like that, right? So those are things too. So tab a lot more and um, like look for ob objective like champions to go for. Okay, they're worth bounty. That's the focus. I've got to find a way to yeah. go for that champion. You know, because we should be knowing who's worth bounty at all points, so we know who to focus. Right? That's really important. That's something that's like. You know, at all points, we should always be knowing that. Knowing how ahead of we are the laner, okay? There's like a situation like this. Let's say we're in like later on parts in the game, right? Okay? And let's say their veins like 10 and 4. And you want to make a play on vein, okay? What I would do is I would press tab before making that fight, okay? Let's say she's like 10 and 4 and she got like 4 items in randuins, okay? And I'm like, you know, 4 and 4. And I'm trying to make a play on vein. If I press tab and see that, I'm going to decide if I'm going to make that play or not because I have that information to my disposal. Okay, well, veins 10 mm -hmm. and 4, I probably can't win that solo kill right mm -hmm. okay but veins uh, 10 and 4 and she's worth 700 bounty okay i'm gonna i'm, I'm top lane maybe i'm gonna spam ping shaco to come and kill vein right here for example because it's such a worth play because she's worth bounty that's the win cost right. 100 1k even bounty. if i even if i die if shaco gets the bounty it's worth it oh 100 yeah because like that's right. gonna be different because if she's like three and four i can just go by myself i don't need shaco I'll just go by myself but she's right. 10 and four and i don't win it by myself and i know that because i tabbed right Okay, well, I'm going to mm. call in my units. I'm going to play it differently. I'm still going to go for the play. It's just 1k bounty. I'm going to, in fact, do anything to go for that play. No matter what, that's the win con. I'm going to do anything in the game to go for that 1k bounty. It's just how I play it. It's different, right? Am I going to do it by myself right. or am I going to recall a teammate? That's why it's always important. So I want you to work on that one habit too. Like you've been doing okay. it still that game, but always, you can always do it more, right? Always mm. like we should be playing the game. When you're in shop, you're doing nothing. When you're flying to lane, Press tab, update yourself on mm -hmm. everything. Look at your CS mm -hmm. compared to Fiora's. Okay, 15 CS is a kill. That's the that's the thing you can look at. So if you're 15 okay. CS ahead of Fiora, you can give or take your a kill ahead of her, right? So that's mm -hmm. one thing you can look at. Look at levels, look at items, what she's building. Okay, maybe she has like a long sword and you have a vamp scepter and like boots okay because she hasn't backed okay it's good to know that she has long sword so even though she's got a kill mm -hmm. over me for example she's 1-0 uh i have item advantage on her at this moment because i press tab so i can fight her here and i'm stronger even though she's 1-0 she didn't buy anything mm -hmm. gold doesn't mean anything until you buy so you can use that to your advantage that kind of makes sense that's something i want you to implement yeah. more in your games um and then you'll go with that does that make sense there was a yeah lot yeah, yeah for you, sure you, you had a lot of great things it was more so on the the mechanical stuff we were talking about for that um mm -hmm. you did really well find those opportunities to get cs whenever you can you did a great job at it and um go for that like i thought you did a fantastic job i'll leave you with that for the week so we're gonna practice especially with the tabbing more i want you to just work on that update yourself on information and if you want to get more advanced maybe we can work towards timing summoners too so if she ever flashes by herself you can ping their yeah flash. right right it mm -hmm. yeah and then right so I, I was gonna say yeah 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 so i was gonna say like from what i had so i'm taking some notes down right um because i was gonna say about the tabbing so i feel like um specifically in the uh in in this environment because i was trying to take in so much information that you were giving me yeah. that i was tabbing less often so i was like kind of trading information right stuff trying to process stuff you're giving me so when i solo play um i do tab a lot more often Perfect. Um, but there have been situations where you know i enter a fight and i don't have as much information so i i'm still gonna 
focus on tapping more than I already do and trying to get more information about everybody on the on the map because it'll be certain situations like where I know everything about my lane right and then like I'm kind of keeping track of the other people and then the next thing you know like oh Anivia is in my lane and I'm like oh, okay whatever like you know it's still pretty early but oh shit I didn't realize like Anivia already has like a big lead on our, our mid laner and that's like a fight I need to like back away from you know yeah. and so there's there's still those types of things that um, I do miss by what in the process of me trying to check for, uh, during my tab, so I'm I'm still gonna try and practice that more. Um, and then yeah, I, so I, when you were asking about timing flashes, I hear you say some like command like on your keyboard. Is there like a way? Yeah, yeah, Or yeah. is it just? Like... So this is good. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna when you're in the fight, okay? When you have a free second, just ping it. Just like press your ping button on their flash. It'll ping it. Like the timestamp will mm -hmm. come on your on your thing, right? Yeah. Then when you're in base and doing nothing, just like look back at your chat, okay? Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna see, okay, well, it's gonna say the timestamp. Let's say the flash that you pinged yourself, right? Because you're gonna ping it like like close to when he flashes. Right. Look back at and it and be like, okay, it's it. like eight eight thirty two for example. He flashed. Okay, five minutes is flash. Mm -hmm. So you don't do exact mm -hmm. timing. Um, is you can do quick math on it. If it's eight thirty two, you can just add five minutes to that, right? But you don't think exact timing. Some people I guesstimate. They'll just be like, okay, well, um, that'll be thirteen thirty. Uh, VRF for example, they just won't even care about the seconds because it doesn't really matter that much. Um, mm -hmm. or like they'll just round it, you know, completely. Okay, well, he like let's say he flashed like eight fifteen. They'll just be like, okay, well, uh, thirteen VRF. They won't even count the second just round it so that's another mm -hmm. thing you have to do it perfect if you don't have time but i usually like timing perfectly because just because like just you don't lose anything if it takes like an extra like second to like of thought power when i'm not doing anything i might as well and it's pretty easy to do but what you what do I your keyboard okay, when so i'm trying to time yeah. it in my head is what i typically do is is i because if they flash at me i need a few seconds like backup or whatever i normally subtract about five seconds from it so because if mm -hmm, i yeah. go based on the time that i pinged it i might think like i have an extra couple of seconds when i really don't so i take off like five to ten seconds uh yeah, when, when i put it in chat yeah that's perfect that's perfect too that's really good because the other thing too is that most times like you're not going to get that exact second of situation too so like right. even like it's good to do that because it's better to like go back like five seconds and go ahead five seconds because like it's better to assume that their flash is up a little bit before you say it is then say that their mm -hmm. flash is up and their flash comes up like five seconds earlier you know so you she very came up before oh, yeah. you thought so that's another thing too but you're gonna notice in your games that the exact second isn't as important because how many times that exact second just going in a ballpark but right. ballpark you're gonna watch a lot of competitive players that are just going to like you know just do like literally round it like it'll be like 520 flashes they'll be like 10 10 top f just because it's easier I would still round mm -hmm. it to like the, the the seconds like 20 30 40 i would round it to that mm -hmm. um then uh then like full out minute because that's like a big difference right mm -hmm. 20 seconds yeah. is a big difference in league so the other thing too what i was saying um yeah with the timing flash what you do is you press you type it in the keyboard like five top f or something you press mm -hmm. control a control c that copies it and then control v perma paste it so you have to press control a first because that selects it all if you don't do that it's not gonna do anything so you gotta press control okay. a first then you press Control C, then Control V to paste it. So when you press Control A, Control C, you have it on your clipboard. It's on there forever. And then anytime okay. you need it, before you go into fight, if you're thinking, okay, it's Fiora flash up, just press Control V. You'll see the timestamp you put, and then you got gotcha. it. Makes sense? It's okay. really important. Yeah, it's so yeah, yeah. easy. It's so easy, but it's, it gives you a big advantage, you know? So that's one thing I'll say. Right, the then. one thing I, I was going back, uh, just a final thought, is that when we were talking about the items, right? It's also important too, to update yourself on information because it updates on your builds, but also like gives you important information. Okay, if I press tab here, you're playing against Anivia, knowing that she's fed or seven kills is one thing, but knowing what she's building is different. Look, Anivia built Frozen Heart. Mm -hmm. That's 80 armor, mm -hmm. you know? It's like, I'm not going to do much damage to her <laughs> if I'm fighting her, right? She built Frozen Heart, right. you know? So it's like, mm -hmm. you're going to see these items. It's like, it matters. The fact that she built Frozen Heart, okay, I'm going to do way less damage and get a lower attack speed to fighting her, right? So I got to factor that in if I'm going for a fight, you know? It's important. It helps right. you decide what builds, to, what items to build. Okay, she went fro a Frozen heart ninja tabby ninja tabby chain vest okay lord dominix is my next item because again armor lord dominix is the item you build into armor let's say they're building right. like death stance like you see like a ravenous you see like um soraka on their team mortal reminder is also a good item too because of a lot of healing right because mm. i press tab i see I that yeah i use moral reminder a lot i actually saw i was struggling with the uh like the dr mundo matchup for a while uh and i watched i don't remember who it was i watched challenger player and he takes the executioners like he he stays in lane for pickaxe and then uh stays in lane for pickaxe and then does executioners calling early um and then keeps building uh 
what's it called kraken from there um so i i use mortal reminder a lot when it comes yeah. to uh what, like what the health. i would like, what i would recommend because that's a good strategy to do but that's more so for top lanes who don't have healing reduction since you've ignited such a short cooldown you're gonna find that you're just wasting okay. 800 gold on your first item i would never do it personally just because like you have ignite okay. so you every time you fight you'll have a fight for it if i buy mm -hmm. grievous wounds and i'm getting it all in i have ignite up it's redundant you know it's like okay i'm 800 gold behind because the item's not that good by itself it's for the grievous wounds but you have grievous wounds right. ignite so when i'm fighting him it's like okay i'm just 800 gold behind in stats what i would do is buy your mythic item second item you can buy mortal reminder then you have it up okay like this game for example what you could have done was we'll go gale force go mortal reminder second item it's cheap it's a really good second item healing reduction for these three champs with soraka if you're it's really good because she heals a lot or ravenous or gorgeous mm -hmm. or anaralt and uh, Jack heals a lot, Soraka too. You can go Mortal Reminder second item in this game. I would never go first item on Quinn. Other champs, yeah, okay. but when you have Ignite top, it's just redundant. You don't have to have, you could still be like throw it like later than second item if you want, but second items like mm -hmm. you can, I would not build them before Mythic, but second item, I would consider it. If you're playing other top winners, yeah, they would do it because they need it. They don't have Ignite. You have Ignite, you have that luxury. It's three minute cooldown, mm -hmm. so you might as well play around it. Makes sense? Yeah, that makes sense.